Hello and welcome to another short video. Two within a week. I hope uh, this isn't too much of a good thing. But I wanted to say something about Sunday evening. Now I know that it's difficult for many of us to get about and for that reason circuit services when we hold them are not always easy for people to manage uh, to get to. But they do happen and it's important that wherever you live in the circuit and whatever your relationship is to the churches in the circuit that you know that these are services which are open to you. There's a welcome for everyone. So please don't ever think that these services are not for you simply because they're happening in another church. On Sunday evening, you'll see if you have access to the plan, uh, you'll see that there is a circuit service uh, at St. John's at six o'clock and it's described as a healing and wholeness service. Now, I'm aware that the word healing sometimes causes people to panic. Uh, they are not sure if they turn up at a service of healing quite what's going to happen. And so one of the reasons I'm sharing this message is to say a little bit about what will happen, uh, but also to say we really mustn't be frightened off by the word healing. Healing is connected to words like holiness to words like wholeness and health. And these are things that we are about as Christians. God is a healer and he desires our wholeness. Jesus spent an awful lot of his ministry on earth healing people. And even though we may not be talking about miracles on Sunday evening at 6 p.m., I wouldn't rule them out because that's not my business to say that might not happen. But we're not always talking about curing people who might have particular physical or mental illnesses. Uh, but we are talking perhaps about helping them come to terms with those illnesses or finding the strength uh, to cope with them. And as I said, we're not ruling out that God may do wonderful things. A lot of people these days have mental health problems and a lot of those problems are to do with anxiety and worry and simply not being able to cope with the pressures of modern life and that can be just as debilitating as any number of serious physical or mental illnesses. But the main point is that we as Christians should want to be healed of all the things which hold us back or hurt us or harm us and prevent us from living the life in all its fullness, which Jesus came to promise. And when Jesus said, I came that they might have life and have it abundantly, I think he's talking about a wholeness of life, not necessarily perfect physical and mental health, but a wholeness of life, which actually releases us from many of the fears and anxieties and worries that distract us uh, and prevent us from living well and also from fear, fear about what the future might hold, fear that we're not able to do what it is God wants us to do, fear that other people don't love us and don't care about us. I always call this service on the second or third Sunday in the month at St John's fearless worship because I do think perfect love casts out fear and I do think there is nothing at all that should prevent us from placing ourselves in a situation where God might heal us. And the lovely thing about the service, and my aim is to make the service entirely normal and natural. Uh, I would love to have one every month, possibly even every fortnight, but let's talk about every month to begin with. Uh, just an ordinary service where people know they can come in a safe and supported place and ask for prayers for healing. And not just that, but actually to be involved in offering healing to other people. Because many of us are wounded healers. Uh, we have learned through life how to cope with certain things and we can offer that to other people. The Iona community 
from the island, uh, Northwest Scotland. They have a healing service every week. It's uh, in this book. And this is the service that I use to give a shape to what we do. So there's simple prayers, stories of healing, and then there's an opportunity for people to have hands laid upon them and to be involved in laying hands on other people. Because as the book says, touch, for centuries we've known that touch is an important healer and it's a way of comforting and supporting people. There's a story in the Bible where Jesus comes to the pool of Siloam, uh, to Bethesda, and he says to the person who can't get into the pool when the waters are troubled, he says, do you want to, what do you want? And uh, the man says, I want to be healed. Or I think Jesus says to him, do you want to be healed? And the man says, yes. And that's the question I want to ask you. I don't know what it is uh, that might be holding you back from feeling that you have the fullness of life which God desires. Um, but I want to ask you, do you want to be healed? Do you want to be better? Do you want to at least start along that journey by opening yourself up to the love and the care of other people and the possibility that God might actually do something in your life that might make life better for you and might free you up to become a blessing to other people? We are invited, says the introduction to the service, to open our hearts to Jesus, to let his love into the most painful places of our lives, whether in body, mind or spirit. We may then begin to see our fragility and our brokenness in a new light, not as aspects of ourselves of which we should be ashamed, but in fact as ways through which Christ can come closer to us. For there is nothing that God considers too trivial or too shameful to help us with. Our healing may not involve a cure, nor may our burden be taken away, but Christ will give us a new strength to bear it. And then it goes on to say, this is a ministry which complements medicine. This is not over and against the miracles, the modern miracles that doctors and nurses do every day of our lives. So Sunday evening at 6 p.m., if you're able to come, know that you're very welcome to come. And if you do come, come with an open heart and mind and uh, allow yourself to receive the healing grace of God. God bless you all.